I'm Jeremy Fricky, of course, and uh, I've been working at TriFaith Initiative for a couple of years. But um, before I talk a little bit about what I came here to talk about, I also want to mention a few things about TriFaith Initiative. So uh, many of you may have heard of TriFaith Initiative. It's an organization that's partnered with a synagogue, a church, and a mosque in Omaha, Nebraska. And they... Let me, let me have the screen here then. Oh, yep, you're right. Um, uh, protecting religious freedom, especially in the community. And that's something that, uh, that we really focus on is this community focus, this idea that we should be um, starting with our neighbor neighbors and expanding outward. Um, but it's not just about these buildings, it's about the people who, who come together and uh, really do the work every day by learning about each other, building relationships, ethnic, et cetera, background. <clears throat> now, uh, one thing that we hear uh, sometimes are, are two different opinions. One is uh, Pew Research, uh, which has done a few studies on the correlation between knowledge about religion and the attitudes toward the religious groups. And generally, we do find that there is a correlation between those who have a lot of knowledge about religious diversity and those who uh, feel very warmly toward religious diversity. And that's not 100% as we can see that um, there is some difference uh, with evangelical Christianity. But we also hear research from like PRRI, uh, the Public Religion Research Institute, who says that, um, that generally the people who are most warm or the most cold, if you will, toward people, um, both tend to see themselves as highly informed about that religion. So, so we get this kind of dual motion of people who feel very confident about their knowledge, um, but is it, is it actually helping us to cultivate that mindset of religious freedom and religious pluralism? So what TriFaith is, is trying to suggest now, now, many of you ha may have seen this model before. Uh, this is called the stages of integration um, and Tri-Faith Initiative did not make that up. Um, it's something you can look into on your own time as well. But we saw this, this process that the stages of integration shows, this denial toward defense, defensiveness toward minimizing differences and, and you know, focusing a lot on the similarities, accepting difference, adapting to difference, and then integrating uh, cultural diversity as part of their mindset. Now, how we envision the process of bringing people toward really appreciating religious freedom and religious pluralism is through combining both the social and the educational, and to realize that people are at different stages with these ideas. So, when we are speaking to those who are maybe in opposition to religious freedom, um, it really often takes a simple relationship to budge them toward the ability to hear more information. And then we find that education brings people forward to, to, really, um, to really hold within themselves this concept of religious freedom to really solidify the impact of this kind of mindset on their everyday life. They need both that relationship building 
and the education. And then really, you know, we, we cannot completely separate the two. Things like fighting Islamophobia, right, is not just fought by learning about Islam. Um, we find over and over again that, that while that, that is part of it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually take root until um, they also have some relationship building involved and vice versa as well. Um, just relationships without any understanding doesn't, uh, doesn't really get to a full acceptance of people who are different from them. And again, you know, that, that full acceptance is what, um, what, we're, what we're hoping for that will back up the ideas that we're trying to promote around religious freedom uh, that, that the world in America and Omaha, Nebraska, which is where we're at, can be a place for any religious background.